Uneven lies can be tricky, in particular when the ball is below your feet. It tends to throw up some contact issues that we need to resolve because no matter where we play, from time to time we are going to have those uneven lies. So let's get into it with a couple of setup adjustments, a little bit of a swing thought. We're going to be way more successful. So let's go. The number one thing that I see when the ball is below our feet is that we tend to either hit them thin or we top them. And obviously that's not going to work out. And the reason for that is that we have to take into account the fact obviously that the ball's below our feet. And in terms of our swing, that means adjusting the arc height. The arc of the, of the swing needs to come down lower than what it typically would. So with, as I said, some good setup adjustments, we're going to make that a lot easier. I'm here on the 18th hole at Los Colinas Country Club playing the second shot. This is a par five, but I'm gonna hit an iron shot layup today. And for those of you that have played here before, you'll know that this fairway has a significant amount of slope from left to right. So this ball is gonna be several inches below my feet. I'm gonna do my best effort here to try and show you that on camera. It's not easy to pick up the amount of slope, obviously, when we're looking at it on this 2D screen. The alignment stick here is zero degrees, so essentially kind of zero degrees to the horizon. You can see how far below my feet that ball is when I'm going to be hitting this shot. So you can understand the adjustments that we're going to have to make in order to get the arc low enough to the ground to hit this shot solid. Okay, so remember the number one objective here is to keep that arc height or get that arc height low enough to the ground through impact. Okay, so what do we need to do? Well, one thing that we could do is in order to get that arc low enough, we could bend more from our hips, lowering our torso. The problem is that that's gonna put more weight on our toes. And as we start swinging, gravity is gonna take over and it's gonna end up pulling us down this hill. We're gonna have all kinds of contact issues then because we're gonna make adjustments as we start to swing. So what I would like to see you do when you have these lies with the ball below your feet, number one, widen the stance. Number two, we're gonna increase the amount of knee flex that we have. We're almost gonna feel a little squatty here. And the in-swing thought that we're going to have is we're going to keep that flex. We're going to maintain that knee flex so that we can keep that arc really low through the strike. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Setting up. I'm wide. I have knee bend. I feel a little squatty. Feels a little funny. And I'm going to keep that squattiness. And you can see from the strike there, I was able to keep that low point that arc height nice and low through the strike as a result of lowering down through the wide stance and the increase in knee bend. From a strategy standpoint, the one other thing that might be helpful is maybe club up a little bit and go a little smoother on it. If you try and hit it too hard, it's likely that you might start to pull up and again, we'll have contact issues. So go a little more club, swing a little smoother, but make sure you adhere to those setup and that one little in-swing thought. It's actually left me with a nice little 70 yard shot into this flag here for my third at this par five. So let's see if we can hit a nice little wedge shot in here and set up a birdie chance. I don't know if you could see that, but I actually chunked it. It landed on the bricks just over the water and kicked up onto the green to about 15 feet away. Um, that is not what I was trying to do. That was pretty uh, ordinary, but the result, hey, apparently I got a birdie putt at this. Let's never hit a wedge shot like that again though. Okay, in all seriousness, so that's the water hazard. Those are the rocks, the bricks that I hit. The ball finished, where is it? Can you see it yet? The ball finished right there. I have no right to be putting for birdie right now, but I am, so I'm gonna try and make it.
I'll take par after that ordinary shot into the green. Deserved to go in the water, but hey, par's a par. Okay guys, so hopefully now we're on the road to hitting those downhill shots much more solid. Those uneven lies are tricky. Once you start to know a couple of little tricks, those little setup adjustments, they become much easier. Guys, if you like what you saw, please hit the like button. Comment with anything that you have for me. If you have some feedback on my channel, if you have some questions, if you wanna know something else that I haven't covered yet, then let me know, please. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, until next time, good golfing.